Irish gin here from Maine and such and such and be scented. You must excuse the background noise. It's just a busy day at my house. I have lots to do, laundry and dishes and you know, it's just life here. I've got wholesale orders I'm working on. Um, my new stick blender actually is in the uh, dishwasher. So, going back to my old one for today and it's a bit loud and sounds terrible and you know, it'll be all right. So I'm gonna add in my kale and clay and my oatmeal to this. Those are two tablespoon scoopers. This is an oatmeal, milk, and honey soap for a custom order. Um, she wants it pretty much the same way I do it, other than she wants to add a brown swirl. So, I said okie dokie. Hold on. So, all of my oils are liquid because I master batched. Um, I actually master batch on a Friday, planning to make soaps on Saturday, and I got the stomach flu, puked my guts up for 24 hours, and it was horrendous. My mother-in-law come and got the kids, thank goodness, for an awesome mother-in-law, and, um, I laid on the couch and felt like I was dying. So, any who's it, I did not get my soaps made on Saturday like planned. Sunday, uh, I rested, and today is Monday. And with my coconut milk and my honey, I warmed it just a little bit in the microwave for about 10 seconds, which helps it to um, be not as thick, but it's been, you know, 20 minutes since I did that, so yeah, it's thick again. Normally, with my oatmeal, milk, and honey soap, I do no color or anything. I just pour it in the mold, and I'm done. But this one is a little bit different. Here is my ground-up oatmeal. That's in addition. Add our fragrance. Get all this blended well, and then I'll pour off for a brown swirl. You really want to make sure that honey is blended in there well, or you'll have pockets. It's another benefit of uh, heating it up. Helps enable that, yeah, get it in there really good. Let's put this right there for the moment. Now, let's see what brown. I don't want to do a dark brown, and she didn't say.
my molds, um, I'm actually using two of my bee scented molds because they're 16 inches, they're 8 inches long a piece. So two of them together is 16 inches and that's how long my wood molds are. So yeah, so we're just going to use two of these. That way I don't have to line anything today. Got everything planned out for five batches. 25 pounds of soap. She wants these cut in eight inch, or one inch, eight inch, one inch bars. Noah's in the living room. So far, he didn't get sick. Austin had it first, and then he gave it to me, and I have tried cleaning very much and keeping the bathroom clean, all that good stuff, lots of Lysol. Just hoping to keep Noah from getting it and the husband. So far, so good. But Austin had it on a Tuesday, and I didn't get sick till Friday night. And I still am a bit queasy. Um, haven't eaten much the last couple of days, just because I don't really feel like it. So... I think I'm going to leave it just like this, as in the drop swirl, because I think it's going to be pretty. you guys and let this set up and then I'll texture the top. I'm going to get things cleaned up and ready for the next batch. Alright guys, so normally when I make the soaps I have little end slices that I cut off. Well these I'm not going to cut any end slices off 
So the little bit of extra soap that I have, I put it in these molds over here. That way she'll have samples. She can cut them in half or however she wants to do. So normally I have like four uh, soap samples or so. So I did it that way. <clears throat> so we don't have to, because these are exactly eight inches long. So I should be able to get eight bars. So I'm just going to bring this side up. And then I'm going to take my chopstick, the fat end of it, kind of just make little round swirls all the way down through. Just flattens the top off. Just like that. And that's that. I'll bring you back for the cut. cut the oatmeal soap that she ordered. I've already pulled the topping off. We're going to get this bad boy cut. First time I've made oatmeal soap with a swirl. I generally just do mine plain. And I did make one, a batch of mine. It's nice. I turned out nice. I still like my oatmeal soap plain. But you know, this is not my soap. This is somebody else's. <laughs> We got another loaf here. Looks all the same, yay. When you pour two different loaves like that, you always run the risk of it looking like you've made two different batches. Luckily, so far, I have, um, managed to wing it and they appear the same. Now I'll sit these on the curing rack to start cure for about a good one or two weeks before I ship them. I like them to set for about two weeks. Uh, they get hard enough to where when I ship them they don't get damaged because you know you run the risk of um, them not being fully cured and then being damaged. So I always let them set for about two weeks. And I put them in some bubble wrap and send them off to their desti destination. Alright guys, thanks for watching.